Welcome. This video will describe how to set up the new OpenPages 7.4 installation server. This server allows you to install and upgrade OpenPages. You can use it to manage all your various OpenPages deployments, whether it be production, test, or something else. I will take you step by step on how to run the install script that will create a user and then how to navigate to the web application. Start by navigating to the machine where you want the installation server to reside. Open up a terminal. and navigate to the directory where the installation meter resides. From here we'll, we'll cd into the install directory and we'll cd into the operating system corresponding to the server we're installing on. In this case it'll be Linux. From here we'll go ahead and we'll run the install.sh script dash dash accept license. If the scripts aren't executable by default, you can simply update them by using change mod space 744 space star.sh and that will update that to make them ex executable. Um, however, assuming that they are, you can go ahead and follow the prompts and now it's asking for a password. This password will be the default password that is used for the admin account. Once you enter it the first time, it'll ask you to re-enter to confirm. You go ahead and do so, and then the script will continue. In this case, it's installing node.js, as well as a few other things, and it's starting the server as well. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, and once it completes, we'll see the message at the bottom saying, the open pages installer was installed successfully. Now, to verify, you can open up a browser and navigate to the, fo the following URL. So it's the name of the server that it's been installed on, colon 8443 slash login. And assuming everything is has been installed cor uh, correctly, you can log in with admin and type in the password that we use for the setup. You can view terms and conditions by clicking there. Uh, once you've read all of them, you can agree. And once you click on login, We've now verified that the user uh, has been set up correctly and we're able to install, uh, we're able to log in correctly to the install server. So that completes our video. Uh, we hope you found this video helpful and we hope you'll follow along with some of our other, vi other videos. Thank you very much.